Hey guys, Cavs here from Into the Smoke. Just going to take you through a close-up review of our tri-blade and what makes this thing the best respectful entry tool on the market. In the fully stored position, the tool measures an inch and a half wide by six and three quarters in length and under an eighth of an inch in thickness. The tool weighs around 100 grams, making this the most lightweight, compact, multi-tool on the market. On this end here, we have a glass punch followed by an 8mm and 10mm 12-point wrench. These are excellent at MVCs for battery removal. The placement of these wrenches on the end allows for hard to reach access to battery compartments and the t combined with that 12-point cutout allows you to use this tool in multiple orientations when you're trying to remove those uh, battery terminal clamps. Unlike some other wrenches on some multi-tools that may be cut out in the center uh, which would make those virtually ineffective on placement of the tool. Fall Next up on the tool we have a uh, O2 cylinder wrench just above our, our tab lock tab there. On the end, other end of the tool, a residential gas shut off wrench. We'll go ahead and open this blade up. You just push this tab. You can open those blades at either a 90 or 180 degree, degree position. So on this end of the tool, we have our modified shove knife. So that extra wide blade combined with this angle tip allow you to use this tool and rock off of your doorstop in a lev and leverage this tool off of the doorstop. You can also use this shove knife and just walk your latch just like you typically would. So we'll go ahead, put that back to a 90 degree position. So on the other end of the tool, our wedge blade, you may Notice that this tab might be a little bit difficult to open at first. It will loosen up over time. So one way that uh, you can overcome that, if you carry a pen, which most of us do when we're on shift, you can easily just use that just to get a little bit of leverage. Just place it on your tab and it just helps you get a little bit of leverage there just to open it up. So with this tab open in the first position there in your 90 degree position, this allows you to reach behind security plates. You could walk them, walk the latch over if it's within reach. You could also use this and just rock that latch forward. Now we'll fully open this blade up. So you just press that tab. That fully open position there. The bread and butter of the tool if you need a little bit more reach on attacking latches behind security plates. The fully open position here, the tool measures from end to tip, 12 inches in length. The effective reach on this blade, however, is 10 and a half inches from the underside of this blade to the tip. Moving on to the end here, we have our serrated edge. So unlike most multi-tools that carry just a seatbelt cutter, this serrated edge allows you to cut various materials. Seatbelt being first and foremost, but you could use this for cutting rope and webbing. The beautiful thing about this tip here is if this tool ever does become a little bit dull, you could take this edge here and just pass it lightly on a grinding stone and dress it up. All it takes is a light pass, sharpens it to new. We've tested this blade on cutting mild steel framing nails and it cuts through them like butter. However, we wouldn't recommend that's the use of the tool. Just shows the strength of this steel. On the end here, we have our through the lock tip. So rounded for two reasons. A, you're not going to puncture your gear or accidentally puncture a patient when you're cutting a seatbelt. Uh, secondly, you use this tip for through the lock techniques if you're manipulating deadbolts and locking mechanisms like a Adams Wright cylinder lock on a commercial storefront there. So there you have it, the tri-blade guys. We'll go ahead and close this up, show you how easy that is. Just press that tab, closed. Try before you pry.